Hello, Jennifer Tochi here. With Garfield. <clears throat> I've fallen off the couch again. <laughs> Stuck into my butt. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do a sci fi movie. My favorite sci fi movies. Okay, and some might agree that this is not a sci fi movie. But it's my favorite sci fi movies. And it's true, it's a far sci-fi movie, but I love it anyway. <laughs> and that's dun 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 dun. I went and got this out of my garden today just for this. <laughs> Gonna eat it later. <laughs> Attack of the killer tomatoes. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> yes. I don't have the original VHS. I have the exclusive director's cut. Which, um, ooh, one of the five best movie titles of all time, USA Today. Yes. And this wasn't made in the put out in the 80s like the original this was put out in 95 and I actually like the director's cut they didn't cut any of the movie and put uh, put um, comic strip pages in comic book pages in them. No. They did interviews. They even did an interview with the tomato before the movie. And afterwards, they let us know that Mason Dixon, played by David Miller, is now a pig farmer. <laughs> and just funny stuff like that. And like when the the lady who the reporter who is sent out to check out the weird things happening with tomatoes is told that she has a nice ass. It's cut to the director all of a sudden it says. Yes, people in the 70s could say that. <laughs> yes, because this movie was made in 1978. <clears throat> I guess 90s, we were still in the PCs, away from 70s and 80s. But I sure remember a lot of 90s movies that weren't all on PC. <laughs> yes, okay. Um oh, okay, nineteen seventy eight. Skiven a hundred thousand dollar budget. It was filmed in San Diego. And made five hundred and sixty seven hundred thousand. It's known as a flop. There was a hell of a lot of scream queens and kings in here. Man, could people scream. Yes. <laughs> and I loved it. Yes. Okay. Yes. A secret project. Mm-hmm. 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 To do with tomatoes. We got David Miller playing Mason Dixon. Yes. At first, first I thought it was Dick Miller. I go, hey, I know him, the drunk from Gremlins. And I said, no, that's not, that's not David. That's not, that's not Dick Miller. I looked it up again. Oh, that's David Miller. <laughs> I don't know him from anything. <laughs> 
And then we've got Tom Coleman as the singing soldier. <laughs> he's he's got a lineup of soldiers. There's a great part in that he had. Just in that in that every time he seems to see the you see it's, it's that nice soulful, you know. Soulful singing soldiers out in the front, you know. But this he turns it into a dance routine, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, um and we also got Eric Christmas in it. I said, I know that guy, I know that guy. And he's playing Senator Polk in this movie. Who's being a little suspicious. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And I said, I know that guy from somewhere. I know that guy from somewhere. And I watched the movie again and I said, Porky's movies! He's the principal in the Porky's movies. I remember um, <clears throat> a certain female gym teacher explaining to him about a mole on Tommy Turner's unit. <laughs> yes. And you know, paper mache tomatoes. Great work. Yes. John Babello did a great job of directing this movie. He did a great job of returning, explaining things. Yes, there was some, um, 1988, there was Return of the Killer Tomatoes. They made a TV series about it, and then was shot with John Aston in it. And in 1990, there was Return of the, the Killer Tomatoes. I myself have not seen any of these, so... Uh, I can't say anything about them, so, yeah. All that I know is that I love this movie. And the only, the only thing I can say about this is IMDB. <laughs> Which I seem to be doing a lot sometimes. 4.6 out of 10, man. 4.6 out of 10. This is an amazing movie. This is an amazing movie. I'm going to throw my tomato at them. Yes. Um, I think this is an amazing movie. I think they brought B-movie farces to beauty. Beauty. Yes. The Chinese man who they have dubbed into... Perfect English language, you know, it's like the the soldier who comes out of the the plane with the parachute who drags that parachute all through the movie, you know. The the love song at the end, it's like <laughs> this is going nine out of ten. Beep, bump, boom. And I'm going to put it on my favorite side list. And watch this, watch this. <gasps> mm. Yes, I eat my tomatoes raw. <laughs> and it didn't try to kill me. Although, I shouldn't have gone, got it directly from my garden. Because it would taste better cold. <laughs> so, have a nice day, everybody. Farewell.